This is what we know today. Money flowed from the Chinese Communist Party aligned with, uh, with individuals into American shell companies. And then that money was wired and transferred to Biden family members. This could be the most corrupt scheme in American politics where a sitting vice president, where we saw members of his family, nine members so far, there may be more, that were enriched from countries all over the world. And we're providing more information about Romania today. We know about China. We know that the president denied this during an election in 2020, continues to deny it to this day. And we want uh, everyone held accountable if they have they have violated their oath of office. Um, we shouldn't have folks that are in office that are betraying their oath of office. We shouldn't have people in office that are betraying their country. If they're paying loads of cash to their family members from adversaries of ours around the world, it's wrong, whether you have a, a Republican or a Democrat by your name. And uh, we saw evidence of intentionally taking steps to hide the sources of money coming directly from China through a series of financial gymnastics. Joe Biden's political career uh, was winding down at the time, and this was one of the Biden family's last chances to cash in on the name. We have evidence of Chairman Yi Jingming, who is believed to be affiliated with Chinese Communist Party intelligence organizations and has even been accused of a gathering intel for communist China. Yi started CEFC in China. His agent in America, Gong Wendong, which, uh, which uh, Andy Biggs mentioned earlier, formed CEFC Infrastructure Investment U.S. on May 11, 2017. On May 18, 2017, Dong used one of his Chinese companies, Shang Huaxin, to fund CEFC infrastructure in an attempt to hide the source of the money. And you see this pattern repeated over and over and over again. On June 30, 2017, Shanghai Huaxin sent $10 million from China to CEFC infrastructure. Then on August 4, 2017, CEFC infrastructure wired 100,000 directly to Hunter Biden's own corporation, Owasco PC. Hunter's Owasco also received a half a million from another entity affiliated with Yi, State Energy HK Limited. State Energy HK appears to be part of Yi's personal slush fund that potentially commit bribery and launder money. The Chinese Communist Party affiliated entities may have bought influence with the Bidens that they couldn't get otherwise, and obviously for good reason. These alleged layering schemes are repetitive. They knew what they were doing, they knew how to do it, and they did it multiple times all over the world. If it looks complicated and sounds complicated, it was intentionally made to be complicated so you could not follow the money. 